God, I'm singing you this song, waiting at your cross. And all this world holds dear, I count it all as loss for the sake of knowing you. It's the glory of your name. Listen, how tough is that? How tough is that to say those words? I, I know me, and I know who I am. And I know all through Scripture, I see people God used to do crazy things. And, uh, the first one I think of, because I read a devotional on him this morning, was David. David was this uh, king of Israel who was just awesome. But he had these moments in his life where he... Uh, he murdered somebody. How about that for a moment? He had this moment in his life where he committed adultery. He had this moment in his life where it all was bad. And then he lied and he hid it for a year. And it was crazy. And finally the prophet comes to David and he says, David, I got a story to tell you and this story deals with you, man. And David repented and he moved back to the Lord. The thing that, that gets me right now is this, that David, with all of that, everything that he did, the Bible still says that David was a man after God's heart. That's how he's remembered. He's remembered all through life with that. And so maybe for some of you, like it is for me, to sing this song is a little difficult. Maybe for some of you, to sing this song is easy, and you think that that's it's just it's what you want to do. Maybe you've, you've fallen down way too many times to think that you can get back up. Maybe you don't have what it takes. Maybe you think that you're just totally broken beyond repair. But you can still be known as a man or a woman after God's own heart simply by saying those words. God, I surrender to you again. I lay it down again. I put it down again. And I come to you right now for the glory of your kingdom and the glory of your way, God. I 
Time for the chorus. And I 